Calancho or Calancoe? How is it pronounced? Well, it depends on where you live. I pronounce it Calancoe, and today I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of my collection of Calancoes. So stay tuned for that. Okay, let's start down here. And this one here, friends, is a Calancoe Marginata. And it's one of my favorites because of its blue-gray coloring and these beautiful pink edges that it's getting right now because of the cold air. It's kind of like if it was getting a hot sun, that stress of it makes the color change on the plants. So it's beautiful. Down here is its cousin. It's actually a hybrid and Calancoe cream uh, cream scallops and this one here is a hybrid of the blessed fold and it's getting its stress also from the cold air as far as its pink margins it's a little dry right now so i need, probably need to water it this is a brand new one for me and it's its first winter here so I didn't want to overwater it too much, but it looks like it may need some water um, because some of the leaves are a little bit wrinkled. So that in itself, friends, is a sign that it needs water along with feeling the soil. But when you get a new plant like this and you're not quite sure how um, it's gonna react, it's better to underwater than overwater. It's easier to bring it back from an underwatering than it is to try and save it from an overwatering. And here I have the Kalanchoe tomentosa panda plant. Now this is a, a good example of what can happen to a plant when it is left in the sun, it can get scarring. Remember succulents can take some sun, but um, too much sun or too hot sun can scar them. Now this one I've had in this planter for a couple of years and it's been slow growing, but I'm hoping that in the spring it'll um, really start taking off. It's set off a couple of pups there, and it's even got some new growth in the winter time here. So in the springtime when I start fertilizing again, I'm hopeful that it will really take off. Now here is probably my favorite Kalanchoe that I have, Kalanchoe Pink Butterflies. I have cut this plant, as you can see, by the cutting there numerous times so it'll branch out and then I'll put them back in. You can see here too. Now one thing that I just recently learned about this plant in my research for doing this video is this Kalanchoe butterflies is a hybrid from the mother of thousands. As you know, they have those little plantlets along the edge. This one doesn't have any right now because it's winter. And you can see the pink color on it because of the stress of the cold air. But the plantlets for the pink butterflies, when they fall off, don't necessarily take root like the ones for Mother of Thousands because that's something that the pink butterfly lost in, in the hybrid process. It lost its ability to um, for the plantlets to take root. Some of them do, as you see there, some of them do take root, but the majority don't, which is something, when I read it and I thought about it, you know, that's true. A lot of the plantlets did not take root. So that's something new that I learned about this particular plant, but it's still very easy to propagate by simply cutting it, letting that cutting take a uh, callus over and then replanting it, or even by a leaf. Okay, let's come over here to this shelf. And right here I have Kalanchoe longiflora. And these were cuttings that were sent to me from my friend Nell in, in uh, Puerto Rico. You probably have seen the video of the unboxing and the potting up. But they have really taken root, even some aerial roots there. And these are so hardy. Um, plants to 
uh, propagate by cutting. These cuttings came all the way from Puerto Rico in the mail, and um, then the, you know they were potted up. And look, they're already giving off little leaves, air roots. I know that they have taken root because when I tug on them, they are in there. And you see, even down there, they're setting off some little leaves down there. So very hardy plant. It's got some stress on it from the cold, so coloring there. Such a beautiful plant. Right next to it, I've had this for a couple of years. This is the Kalanchoe Silver Spoons, and it really does. The leaves really do look like spoons, and it's been giving off some new growth <laughs> lately. So it's doing really well this winter. It's even um, down here, it was propagated from um, a, a leaf. So they do propagate from leaf and from cuttings. And right next to it <coughs> is the Calicoid Beharensis Fang. And it's named Fang because of the little teeth that it has underneath there, as you can see. But this one here, some of the leaves um, are a little bit curled over because of the cold and it's not getting the sun uh, that it necessarily needs. I did have this in um, afternoon, midday sun. So for the winter time, it's, the leaves have curled over a little bit, but they'll open back up once spring arrives. But it's doing well. It's even given off some new leaves there. Now for these plants, I use cactus soil, um, just the regular cactus soil that you buy at the nursery, but I do add um, perlite to them to give them a bit more drainage because these are succulents, remember, and you they want fast draining soil, nothing that's going to keep their feet wet. Um, in the summertime, I water mine at least once a week because, you know, here in Arizona, it, it gets hot. We're zone 9 desert it will get hot out here so I water them once a week but in the winter time now where the lows are in the 40s right now it's about 65 degrees outside I will cut back the watering to about every two maybe three weeks even less if I've, we've gotten rain and they've gotten some um, moisture that way so that's how I take care of them as far as soil and uh, watering. Okay, here I have um, Kalanchoe mule's ear, donkey's ear, and this one's been growing quite a bit. It was probably about half the size when I got the plant in the mail from, um, I believe it was Secret Garden Plants, and it's doing really well. It's finally starting to get the spotting on its leaves. New leaves are growing there. And on this one, the way that it um, propagates itself is that it will give off a plantlet right on the very tip here. And you see there's something going on there. So it might be getting ready to send off a little plantlet. You see how, let's see if I can get it in focus for you. You see how it's getting a little something there that is where it will set off its little plantlet um, as opposed to the mother thousands where it's all on the edge this will give off one plantlet on the very end there that's a kalanchoe mule ear or donkey's ear okay here i have kalanchoe copper spoons the cousin to the silver spoons as you can see why it got its name the leaves like the silver spoons are shaped just like a spoon but it has this brilliant copper uh, look to it. It almost looks like fuzzy. And this one, um, unlike the silver spoons, is this one is a very slow grower. I've had this pot for about a year and a half. Everything else in it, this Crassula Springtime, this uh, Gasteria Little Warty, have been growing, putting off pups. And this one did send off this, this uh, pup here, but it is very slow growing so if you want a calicoe that will stay um, kind of compact and not grow its pot 
out too fast, then the Cacao and Koei Copper Swims may be the one for you. But it's a brilliant color, adds a great contrast when you have it in a container with other succulents that may be green, but you know, it's hard to find a succulent with this type of color. It's really, really just beautiful. Okay, back here in the corner in this large pot on the stool, I have my Calen walking Kalenkoe. And you probably have seen the unpacking uh, video I did on this one. This is from Hertz Gardens. And this gives off, I don't know if these are gonna continue growing, but the plant lid it gives off go, goes off on these stems. And there's a plant lid on the very end of the stems. But it is still growing for um, winter time. It's giving off quite a few leaves there. And I'm hopeful that in the uh, springtime it will start setting off more of these plantlets. But this is a very, very cool plant to have. It's so hardy. The leaves are very fleshy, very easy to propagate from those plantlets. Even from a leaf itself, you can propagate it. Well, that's my collection, friends. I hope you enjoyed the tour as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. If you have any of these um, Kalenkoes, let me know down in the comments below and uh, let me know how they're doing for you. Thanks so much, friends, for joining me today. I appreciate you so much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you always know when I have a video up. Thanks so much for joining me, friends. Have a blessed day.